And just tell me, just quickly, what what's your understanding of the of the whole soil carbon and climate um, narrative, and and uh, you know what impact you know well, do you hope to have? Well, if uh, if our soils have lost up to three fourths of its carbon, which was humus, which retained moisture and nutrients for the plants, and now it's in the atmosphere, that will impact negatively on climate. We'll, we'll see more uh, events of uh, longer droughts and hurricanes, more intense. So what, how, we, how can we remedy that in a practical way that will be done? Well, with cattle is the, the easiest and fastest way because you can make a profit while at, by capturing carbon and put it in, into humus in the soil, which will take the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere where it doesn't belong to the soil where it belongs. And you will create more production through photosynthesis, which is free. And then we can have a better environment on the land and in the climate. And, and what, what's your comment to the people who say that cattle are an enemy of oh, climate and of the well, environment? They are bi bi either ignorant or biased because, of course, if you don't have them grass-fed as we do here, if you have them on a feedlot, yes, they are very bad for the environment. Or if you're clearing uh, Amazon forest to plant soybeans for cows, that's the worst thing you can do. But if you're grazing on a regenerative way, where you're improving the soil with the cows and producing grass-fed beef at the same time, it's not, only, it's not only healthier for the people, but for the planet as a whole. And we need to look at holes, not at small parts. So please don't confuse grass-fed beef on a regenerative grazing way with industrial feedlot cattle. That's not the same. Thank you, Jaime. Hey, look at these birds. <laughs> they love the birds. I do. I love them too. I have a lot I of do. videos with the birds. <laughs>